was good. I'm, I'm happy to be the cinematographer, <laughs> the director of Shatter film. Shatter's Shatter. 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 He's a Rwandan filmmaker. So I was born here in Rwanda in 1985. During the genocide time, I was here in Rwanda. My father gets killed. So after that, I had to go to school here in Rwanda. But at the end, I uh, decided to join, to study filmmaking. And then I decided also to put all my strength in making movies. Uh, today it's really uh, a good day for me. So I have been working on my feature film for uh, since 2009. So it's four years uh, working hard on this story. So today uh, I'm really happy to screen it here in Rwanda. It has been screening to d different festivals around the world. So for me, uh, it's good to have my audience that knows really better the story and then they can learn from this story. So I'm really excited for this day and um, I hope the audience will enjoy the movie. For this film, I got inspiration from my, you know, the, my experience uh, here in Rwanda, before genocide, during the genocide and after genocide. And then I realized that uh, uh, the most important thing was to, to, to tell a story about genocide, but also in, on the side of uh, forgiveness. So because even on my side, I, I was asking a question, if I knew someone who killed my father, will I forgive him? So and then I decided to, to search, to do research, and then uh, create a story that can really tell this story of forgiveness. Uh, for me, I really want the audience uh, to watch the film. And then because I know some of them, they've been here in Iran, the others, they were away. But this story will let them uh, learn from what was happening through this uh, story, which is designed before genocide, during the genocide, and after genocide. And then at the end, I want the audience to take this responsibility, even in their daily life, to, to support this project and uh, contribute in the development of reconciliation uh, by teaching the new generation of what happened and how to, to keep uh, moving forward. The hardest part was uh, funding. Uh, you know, when you have a story that you really believe in, uh, you really want to make it, but uh, it's really hard to get support from funders. So that was really my main uh, challenge because I had to make this movie on a very low budget. Uh, it was 10,000 US dollars during the production. It was really hectic, uh, but uh, at the end, I was happy to, to, to work with different people from different countries, USA, Europe, even Africa, who were ready even to, to pay their own ticket just to come to work with me. So it was really a great experience to, to see how people, they can, uh, they can just uh, be ready to, to work on your project without money. So that was really wonderful, even if we didn't have fund. So on my application, uh, as a screenwriter, I make sure that I write a script which is really well done professionally. Uh, I have different friends in different countries in Europe, and then we can uh, collaborate on my script. And then at the end, I have to design a way on how to apply proposals to different funders. So I have to to find the right funders on my project uh, and then apply. So sometimes you get their fund other, and sometimes you don't get the fund. But the good thing is you, do, you have to keep pushing because these funders today can say, you know, we don't have money for this project, but the other funders for, for them maybe they really need to support this kind of project. So it's a process of, you know, applying, applying, but also having a good uh, proposal to apply. In January, the film was screened at Gothenburg International Film Festival, which was our world premiere in uh, Sweden. Also, it was screened in uh, San Diego Black Film Festival in USA, which was our US premiere. And then uh, this week, 
the film is, is being premier, premiered in Los Angeles. So yeah, now at the moment we have three festivals, but we applied the film in two different festivals. And there, there is other festival where some director asked you know, ask for me just to send the film. So the, this year it will be really a year of you know, screening the film in two festivals. At this stage, uh, my plan is to keep screening this film in Rwanda, in Africa, even all over the world, in schools, in, in universities, in prison, because all of them, they really need this message. So at this stage, uh, after the screening, so I will have to design a way on how to keep screening this film here in Rwanda, in schools, because they really need to receive this message and to learn from this movie. So after this screening, um, I hope I will find a way to, to screen it. You know, screening, it requires support, money, fund. So I, I will try to see how I can get good people to support the project. The biggest challenge for filmmakers here in Rwanda, uh, also I can say, uh, they filmmakers, they really have so many, here in Rwanda we have so many stories. And then for filmmakers here in Rwanda, uh, it's really a nice place to make good movies. But at the end of the day, it's really hard for them because there is no fund uh, which is there to support them. Because even all my friends in Europe, uh, for them they have different uh, fund where they can even get fund to develop the script, uh, get the fund to produce the film, get the fund to even distribute the movie. But for us, uh, we have to go into even competition in Europe and USA. You see, it's like a triple work. So it's really hard for us, uh, African and Rwandese filmmaker, to make, to tell well our story. So I, I believe in the future, if we, we can get fund, which is there just to support a Rwandese project, Rwandese filmmakers, I believe in the five years coming, we will have really good movies and great story around the world, just from Rwanda. I'm working on another project. Uh, it's a story, it's a road movie of two best friends who, who, who are this way and then they get lost into the jungle. So their journey is to find the army. So yeah, this is the movie I really, I'm really working on. Uh, at this moment, I'm looking for funding, applying the movie into different uh, market all over the world, but also looking for co-producer and producer to work with me on this project because the entire movie is into this huge jungle. I really need money to make it. So I uh, don't know really yet because this uh, project won an award in Durban. Uh, I'm really supposed to have the movie ready in 2015. So, but at this moment, uh, yeah, I'm still looking for money. I hope next year we'll produce it. I think here in Rwanda, filmmakers, uh, they have really a good future, a bright future. But if they get really a good support from all the organization that has uh, in their hand to support artists, even the government side, I, I believe that for them they can really be good filmmakers. I can give you an example, even on my project, I have been working with people from USA, from Europe, because they believe in this project. So I believe that uh, here in Rwanda, we have so many good stories to tell. And it's really nice to have a place where you can really have more to tell. Because in Europe, uh, at this moment, there is no story to tell, even in USA. So I think <coughs> here in Rwanda, you know, the future is really bright for us. So this movie is different from other movies because it's a movie uh, made by a Rwandan uh, survivor, but also who was here in Rwanda, who knows what was happening, and who wants to tell where, you know, our, our story on a professional way. So on my side, I believe that this movie is different from even all this Hollywood movie that's made by European and American because uh, I believe that on my side, my experience uh, uh, is give me more uh, 
chance to tell well my story because I know my, my, my country, I know even all the people who live here, so I know how to tell well the story. So that's how my movie is different from the other movies. Uh, at this point, I believe that they have started to get involved in filmmaking. So I believe that in a few years, there will be more funding from, for filmmakers. So I believe you know, this is the beginning of our industry. And uh, if they keep like this, uh, by providing support, uh, logistic support, I believe that really, uh, they are really on the right way. So I'm happy for the, the, the step we are making at this point. I want to tell everyone who, can, who will uh, hear about this film uh, just to do their best to find a way to watch it, even to promote it, uh, to screen to, to their schools, to their prison, to their universities. Everywhere they, they believe that this story can su support and uh, teach people. So I believe that they have to also contribute into this process of, of this message carried by this movie. So on my side, I can't, you know, handle all the, all the world. So everywhere you are, just do your best to promote this film and then screen it everywhere so that people can learn from this movie. <laughs>